So in this video, we're going to look at a second example uh, of a, uh, a second order differential equation, in fact, uh, where we use the power series method to solve the equation. So this is the equation we're going to try to solve. You can see it's a second order linear differential equation. So let's try to get into it. So the first thing is we need to substitute this uh, solution here, this into our uh, differential equation. So y equals this will be substituted into the differential equation. For that, we need the uh, second derivative. So first derivative, as before, is just the uh, ncn xn minus 1. And of course, that leads to the second derivative, which is n into n minus 1 cn xn minus 2. I will point out here the importance of these indices. Remember, sinking the indices eventually will be very important. So now as we substitute these in, you will see there is a difference between the by 2, n equals 2 and n equals 0 when they go in here. Just see now. So as we substitute, you can see here n equals 2, there's the second derivative portion. So this here, okay, just to make sure you understand, is coming from here, okay, and this, okay, is uh, actually this, okay. Keep in mind second derivative and y. So once they're together, now the next step, as you will recall in the method, the second step is, I'm sorry, first step is substituting the y, second step, uh, putting them all together, third step is syncing the um, indices, and what you should do is bring them down to zero. So as we bring them down to zero, you can see that this one here, um, over here, n equals two will become n equals zero. So n equals 2 becomes n equals 0. So uh, you can see that n becomes n plus 2 and n minus 1 becomes n plus 1. You'll see the n here becomes n plus 2, okay? And n minus 2, of course, uh, goes to n, okay? And of course, this remains as it is. Now that the summations are in sync, we can combine. So this will become, uh, it's going to be, summation n equals 0 to infinity, n plus 2, n plus 1, cn plus 2, plus cn, and all of that times xn power equals 0. So this, this basically will give us this uh, recurrence relation, which we can rewrite as a proper re recurrence relation as as this. So now the question is to solve the recurrence relation, of course. So n equals 0 will give us this. C2 is minus C0 over 2 factorial. C3 will be um, minus C1 over 3 factorial. Okay. So here's a few of these. Uh, and you will notice a pattern. The pattern you should notice here is this. Basically, what's going on is um, uh, you'll see there's a C0 here, C1 here, C0 here, C1 here, C0 here, and C1 here. And we notice that uh, even these, the ones that have the C0 are all the E, so on. So there are two, in fact. Now, the power series, as you can see here, uh, will be as, you, uh, as given uh, here. Notice that we will notice that this one here is actually the Maclaurin series of cosine x, this first one, okay, and this one here is the Maclaurin series of sin, sine uh, x. So there we see it, c0 cosine x plus c1 sine x. Now here notice that we do not require to calculate the radius of convergence because uh, luckily these two are recognized as convergent series because the Maclaurin Taylor are convergent series, uh, especially of uh, these functions, cosine x and sine x. So therefore, we've managed to find the solution of this differential equation. And in fact, uh, the fact uh, if we go back to the differential equation, y double dash plus y, just let me show you here uh, for completion's sake. Um, if we go with the, the auxiliary equation or the characteristic equation, it's going to be lambda squared plus 1 equals 0. This implies that lambda for the complementary function, but I mean, this is a homogeneous equation anyway, is going to give us plus or minus i as your uh, roots of the auxiliary equation or the characteristic equation. And so this tells us that the solution is uh, a cosine x 
cosine x plus b sine x of this homogeneous differential equation. And that's exactly what we got here. C cosine, C0 cosine x, C1 sine x. So they match. So again, this is another example, an extra example. Uh, I wanted to put in a second order differential equation so that you can get used to uh, using the power series method. Usually in tests, um, mostly you don't find going above a second order. Um, but of course, it can happen. It just becomes uh, cumbersome to try to do a third order and higher uh, differential equations. Uh, because of the limitations of time. In any case, the method is now should be clear. If you need it for any research problem or uh, need to really do a higher order equation, you hopefully can follow this and extend it to uh, higher order equations as well. Okay, so that's it. We'll stop here. Thank you so much.